Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch on Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Hara Kakurash. And um, in this lesson, what I want to get into is how we are the pastors uh, according to the Lord's heart. All right, because as it was written in the book of Matthew, um, the 24th chapter, all right, this is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 5, it says, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Mashiach. Now it says Christ there, and that goes back to uh, the word uh, uh, anointed, all right, and the way that you say anointed in the Hebrew is uh, Mashiach, all right? So it says, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Mashiach and shall deceive many, all right? So you have a lot of people that are out there saying that they are anointed are sent by the heavenly father and they're deceiving many all right and us all right being uh, hopeful members of the elect and 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 um desiring salvation all right we have to be making sure that we're following the proper uh teachers all right the proper leaders that the lord has set up to guide the flock to salvation to guide the flock um back to him man all right now i had another precept in mind uh as I was speaking, many shall come and say, I'm uh, anointed and deceived many. All right, you know, if the Spirit brings it back, then I'll uh, bring it up. But this is the book of Jeremiah. All right, chapter uh, 3 and verse uh, 15. It says, um, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, so there's a, key, a few key points in this precept, man. All right, so the Lord has pastors that according to his heart, right? But that means that there's pastors that are going after their own heart, okay? Now you go into that word heart in that scripture there, Jeremiah three fifteen. it goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind. So it says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, meaning that there's men that are out there teaching you the words, all right, according to the Lord's mind, all right? As opposed to the false teachers that are teaching lies. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, in verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, hearken not unto the words of, of the prophets that prophesy unto you. Right? Now, a prophet, uh, a word that's synonymous with prophet is a, a preacher. All right, because the word preacher, the, suff uh, the prefix, prefix pre meaning before and sure means to speak, all right? So one who speaks before, that's a prophet. The word prophet means to say before, all right? So those words are interchangeable. They're synonymous. So if you have anybody that's proclaiming to be a preacher or a, a, a prophet, all right, it's letting you know that they should be in the spirit of prophecy, all right? Because that's what it says in the book of Revelation in 19 chapter. It says that the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, meaning that they're going to tell you the things that are going to happen before they happen. All right. And that's what the true men of the Lord are doing, man. Warning you of what's to come. Warning you of, 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 of the calamities, the destruction that's happening. And even warning you of the false teachers and the false uh, prophets that are, uh, that are going to arise, man. As it is written... All right. Uh, it's a couple of them. This is Second Peter chapter two and verse one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. Right. So the true prophets are going to even warn you of these false prophets all right even in the book of acts i believe it was paul that said that he had warned said like three years without ceasing this is the book of acts chapter 20 and verse 30 it says uh i'm sorry verse 29 it says 
For I knew this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn every one night and day with tears. Right, and that's what the true men of the Lord have been doing, warning of these false prophets, these false teachers, all right, and letting you know who the true ones are and guiding you in the proper way. All right, so that you could be led to salvation, man. All right. So going back to this in the book of uh, 2 Peter chapter 2 and 1, it says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, meaning they're going to be teaching you things that are going to cause you to receive destruction, that are going to cause you to be destroyed, man. It says, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So this lets you know the importance of teaching and following the correct doctrine. All right. OK, because if you aren't in the proper doctrine, OK, you will be led to destruction. Verse two. All right. And the scriptures talk about how there's uh, one faith, one baptism. All right. One way, so on and so forth. So there's uh, a proper way. All right, there's not many ways that you can make it into the kingdom of heaven. No, there's a proper way, all right, and how to please and how to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that we ought to be walking in. And the true prophets, the true pastors, according to the Lord's heart, are giving us those instructions and guiding us in that path. It says, verse 2 And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil sp spoken of, man. All right, so you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be following false prophets and so, uh, false teachers, man. All right. Many people are going to be following these false uh, uh, teachers, man. OK, so going back to this in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 16, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. Right. And that's what a lot of these false prophets and false teachers do. They make you vain. They get you caught up in the things of this world, things that don't matter and that don't pertain to salvation. All right, here it is. We're supposed to be arising and departing from this place. We're supposed to be detaching from this place spiritually. But yet you have false teachers and, 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 and leaders that are getting you more closely entangled with this world, the cares of this life, the affairs of this world, which the scriptures tell us not to, man. All right. They're not telling you to detach from this place. They're getting you uh, 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 more engulfed in this world. Right. Making you vain. It says, um. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? So they're speaking whatever's in their heart, all right? And we aren't here to tell you about what we think and what we feel and this and that and the third. No, we're set up to tell you what the Lord was in his heart, all right? What the Lord, his counsel, all right? His likes, his dislikes, all right? So that you can be conformed, all right, uh, uh, to his image and to what's acceptable unto him. And receive salvation okay it says um, verse uh, 18 or verse 17 it says they say still unto them that despise me the Lord hath said ye shall have peace and they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart no evil shall come upon you right so here it is you have false teachers and prophets all right that are telling individuals that are going off, telling individuals, all right, that aren't following the proper way to please the Lord, that nothing bad is going to happen to you. There's going to be peace continuing that way, right? And, and, and a blatant example is like these pastors, man, all right, that are accepting the alphabet community. Here it is. We can go into multiple precepts in the Old and in the New Testament showing you that uh, uh, that those acts, those abominable acts are worthy unto death, that the Lord is not pleased with it. But yet you have whole churches that are established and, and, and accepting the whole alphabet community, man. All right. So they sit there and tell uh, individual that's in that lifestyle. It's OK. God loves you. All right. The Lord doesn't hate the sinner. He just hates the sin. All right. All this types of madness. But when you go into the precepts, that's not what the Bible actually says, man. So they're prophesying out of their own heart. They're telling you what they think and what they feel as opposed to what's actually written. All right. It says back in Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 18 for who or verse 17. They say still unto them that despise me. The Lord Yahweh has said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone 
that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Right. But the true watchmen, the true prophets, they're going to be warning the evil or uh, uh, warning you of the evil, telling you where you're going to go, where you're going off at so that you can repent as opposed to telling you everything is going to be all right. And then the Lord turns around to destroy you because you were following away and, and moving in a spirit that was not pleasing unto him, man. All right. In the book of Jeremiah, the 44th chapter, it says how the Lord has sent forth his prophets saying, do not this abominable thing in which the Lord hates. So we should be wrecking, showing the people what's abominable, what the Lord hates, all right, and telling you to refrain from those things, man. As it is written, man, the, uh, they shall seek knowledge from the priest's lips, okay? And it says that they shall uh, tell them in the book of Ezekiel, it says how they shall uh, 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 pretty much differentiate between the clean and the unclean, man, all right? The holy and the profane. So we got to let it be known like, nah, all right? If you're doing certain things that's going off, we have to warn you of those things, man. All right. And give you a, a, a shot at uh, salvation. OK, it says uh, verse 18, it says, for who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and hath perceived and heard his word, who hath marked his word and heard it right. It says who has stood in the counsel of the Lord, man. All right. And going back to that Jeremiah, the first one that we read, man. In the book of Jeremiah. All right. We have the mind of the Lord, man. All right. The Holy Spirit is resting upon us to rightly divide this word of truth correctly and directly to show you these things. All right. So that if you apply them, that you could receive salvation, man. OK, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine. All right. In verse uh, 17 and thy counsel who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. Right. So <laughs> the Holy Spirit has to be sent. OK, to to be able to. And give you the proper counsel, all right, to to uh, to um, rightly divide this word of truth, to to break down these precepts and so on and so forth. Man, this is all through the Holy Spirit, man. And thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above, and you will recognize that the Holy Spirit is not dealing with <coughs> these other false pastors and teachers and so on and so forth, right? It says, uh, for so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom. That's right. So this word, when it's taught correctly, is supposed to change you. All right. It's supposed to change who you are, the way that you think, the way that you reason. And this is what Yahweh Shah told Nicodemus about in St. John, the third chapter. He said that you have to be born again. All right. So you got all these Christians. They actually think that they've been born again, that they're a new creature. All right. Now, there's examples of individuals. They might have been on on drugs and this and that and the third. And now they don't do those different things anymore. But they've changed. All right. But they aren't changed into the image of the sun. And that's what's important. OK, because you will have an individual that used to be on drugs and this and that and the third. And they'll give their testimony in church. I used to I was on drugs for 14 years. And then Jesus, I accept them into my heart. All right. Now I don't do that no more. All right. But then that same individual is still eating pork. All right. Still getting lined up. OK. And various other things that are uh, uh, condemnable in the scriptures, man. OK. Or they'll uh, 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 talk to another uh, uh, talk to another man's wife and commit adultery. Right. Say, oh, nah, man, she uh, her, her, her husband, man, was mistreating her, you know. So I, I came in, I comforted her and helped her, you know, took her in to me, man. All right. Uh, a Christian will think that that's OK and that's acceptable, man. All right. But that's adultery. OK. But here it is. They think they become a new creature, but they have not been conformed to the image of the sun. And being conformed to the image of the sun, meaning that what you're being conformed to these precepts and what's written according to uh, uh, what the Lord accepts. All right. Not the uh what this world may ex accept okay it says for so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom so through the application of this wisdom all right which is coming from the true pastors according to the lord's heart all right this is what will cause us to receive salvation to be delivered all right let me grab this in the book of first corinthians and we're going to begin to wrap it up through the spirit all right this is the book of first corinthians chapter two in verse uh, 16, it says, For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that, we, that he may instruct him? 
but we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. That's right. So we got the mind of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai, he has the mind of his father, man. Even when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, all right, he wasn't speaking out of his own heart and what he felt and what he thought. No. What does it say here? St. John chapter 12 and verse 49. For I have not spoken of myself, but the father which, which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And it's the same thing with us. All right. We're not speaking our own words, man. We're speaking what's written. We're speaking what's commanded. All right. You ask us any question, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to the precepts as the scripture says that we should. This is the book of uh, First Peter. Chapter uh, four and verse 11. It says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high. Right. So you got questions. Well, we're going to go back into precepts. All right. Well, I just want to know how you feel. Well, how we feel doesn't matter. All right. We feel what the scripture says we should feel. OK. All right. That's 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 our answer. We're going with what's written. We're in agreement with this word. All right. As it is written in the book of Psalms. Um, oh, good. How's the word, man? Psalms 119. Just bear with me. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119. Man, I thought it was 119. All right, bear with me. All right, this is Psalms 119 and verse uh, 28. One Salaki, Psalms 119 and 128. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. That's right. So we're in agreement with this word. All right. The Lord's counsel concerning everything, no matter how uncomfortable it may seem in this world, in this society, we're being conformed to the image of his son. All right, we have the mind of the Lord and the mind of the Lord is contrary to the minds of these people in this world. OK. And we are going to conform to this world. We're being conformed to the image of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. All right. That's being a new creature, being born again. All right. So this is how we're going to answer questions, man. It's through these precepts. All right. Plain and simple, man. Let's go back to that. First Peter 4 and 11. And if, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high. That's right. As a messenger of the uh, of the heavenly father. So when you sent a person to deliver a message like in the ancient world, man. All right. That person didn't come bearing their own message. No. Whatever the king says, that's what they say. All right. It's not their opinion. It's not what they think. No, they're sent to deliver that message straight from the king. What well, the same thing with us. We're delivering this message straight from the heavenly father. All right. Through his only begotten son. All right. And so on and so forth. Right. It says, if any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the most high giveth, that the most high in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. All right. So let's grab this in the book of uh, uh, Second Peter. All right. We was already here, but we're going to start up. Second Peter chapter one and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Right. So it ain't. Well, I think it means this. And well, you think it means that. And I think it means this. And we all right. No, this isn't private interpretation. All right. OK. There's a proper way to interpret these prophecies. And and, 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 and that's given that proper way is given through the Holy Spirit, man. All right. The proper understanding, the proper breakdowns of these precepts, man. OK, it says, uh, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation for the prophecy came came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the most high spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And the same thing with us. All right. We're speaking as we're moved by the Holy Spirit, man. Even these precepts. All right. Uh, in this lesson, man, it was the Holy Spirit uh, uh, providing precepts. OK, to speak on. All right. But what? It was all going back to what the scriptures actually says, man. All right. And that's how this whole that's how this word is supposed to be taught. Inspired through the Holy Spirit, going back to the precepts, precept upon precept, 
precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here and little and there and little. And that's how you'll get the understanding of these scriptures, man. But once again, it's through who? Those pastors that are according to the Lord's heart. All right, so the things that we may bring out it will be offensive to this world, might not be agreeable with the people of this society, all right? But we aren't concerned with that, all right? As it is written, man, his ways are not our ways, man. His thoughts are not our thoughts, okay? All right, so the Lord doesn't reason according to how man reason. His reason is on a whole nother level. And we're being conformed to that through reading these precepts, all right? And in and, and our mind being transformed to, uh, to these words, man, all right? So that's all I wanted to get into through the spirit, man, Lord's will. That was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.